Okay, my algebra. I'm going to call this one factoring part two. And we're going to spend Wednesday and Thursday on this. I hope you don't care. So, this is difference of squares. It's a pattern they found out. Boy, my, uh, my camera must be something wrong. It's kind of foggy. Anyways, here we go. Uh, what was noticed by mathematicians throughout history is that if you have a squared term minus a squared term, you can actually break that up into what's being squared plus what's being squared and what's being squared minus what's being squared. Woohoo! So, if I have a binomial that's two terms separated by subtraction, I'm going to look to see, do I have a square minus a square? So what do you square to get x squared? Well, x. What do you square to get 25? Well, you need to know your squares. Do you remember when Mr. Murphy said, hey, I'd memorize those squares? So what do you square to get 25? 5. So uh, what you square plus what you square what you square minus what you square. Oops, I don't know why I put that. So, x times x is x squared. 5x minus 5x is 0. 5 times minus 5 is minus 25. So, it works. So, I have a binomial, uno dos. Do I have a square minus a square? By the way, you don't have to show this step unless you want to. So what do you square to get x squared? X. What do you square to get 49? 7. So it's what you square plus what you square. What you square minus what you square. Hey. So this one. Got a binomial. Do I have a square minus a square? What do you square to get x squared? X. What do you square to get 1? 1. So, what you square plus what you square? What you square minus what you square? Hey! So, I'm going to let you try this one. Just one. Don't panic. Try this one by yourself right now and then turn me back on. Oh, I got a binomial. So do I have a square minus a square? What do you square to get x squared? X. What do you square to get 100? 10. So what you square plus what you square? What you square minus what you square? What you square minus what you square? What you square plus what you square. So you can put the plus here and minus here or the minus here plus here. It doesn't matter. So, oh, it's getting a little trickier, my students. Getting a little trickier. What do you square to get 36x squared? Well, that would be 6x. 6 squared is 36. X squared is x squared. What do you square to get 25? Five. So, what you square plus what you square, what you square minus what you square. Uh, Taylor Swift wrote that song, by the way. Hey, hey, hey. So, what am I squaring? Well, what do you square to get nine? Three. What do you square to get X squared? X. Minus, what do you square to get 16? 4. So, what you square plus what you square? What you square minus what you square? Oops, I left the X out. 
So, do this one on your own right now. Go ahead, try it, try it, try it. So, what do you square x? What do you square 12? So, what you square plus what you square? What you square minus what you square? Okay, let's do really challenging problems now. Wow, this is challenging. What do you square? Well, if you remember, when you have a base to a power raised to a power, you multiply. So this would be x squared minus, what do you square? 7. So x squared plus 7. x squared minus 7. The last one. So when you have a base to a power to a power, you multiply. So this would be 3. This would be y to the 4th. So what do you square plus what you square? What do you square minus what you square? Hey. Oops. Have a good day.